Hi. Okay, folks. Here we go. Another disaster. <clears throat> this time in Japan, with the uh, nuclear reactor breaking down, and uh, well, all the scaremongers have come out, uh, especially this one, Janet Sherman, who is, uh, uh, for one thing, an activist and an anti-progress. Uh, human activities. She's one of the foremost uh, proponents of anthropogenic. Did you get that word? Anthropogenic uh, problems in the in, in the world, and she's uh, going on where NPR and other places to uh, say that uh, we're all doomed. We're all going to be uh, shattered with strontium-90 and start taking your iodine pills and the government should be uh, passing out iodine pills and it goes on and on and on. My hair's a mess in that. All right, we'll do this. How's this? Anyways, let's put an end to Just Speaking of NPR, now you know the other day I had illegal immigrants just pop in on me like this, right? But there was a couple of months ago, one of our representatives, unfortunately, was shot in the head. She's recovering nicely. She's uh, Her husband is uh, going on the next space mission. She plans to be there. She was shot through the left side of her brain. Her recovery is just an amazing, amazing thing in itself. But, uh, uh, anyways, on NPR, one of the paid commentators, and when I say paid, I mean your tax dollars have paid this, okay? Your tax dollars pay her salary. She says that when she heard of the tragedy, her first concern, her first reaction was, oh, I hope it wasn't a Hispanic. I hope it wasn't a brown person. I hope it, it, it wasn't a Hispanic person. No concern whatsoever of the tragedy or anything else. Uh, you know, if it was a nut, if it was a... As long as it wasn't someone Spanish. Now let me tell you something. This goes along with this immigration thing. These, the, this whole immigration policy stuff is, is for suckers, okay? Not since Franklin Roosevelt and Eisenhower do we need another policy like Operation Wetback. They're here for the goodies, period, okay? They're not here, they're, they're here for the goodies. They're not coming over here contributing, not in mass like they are. They're coming here sucking you dry in mass. Okay? So we need better immigration policies and the people who don't belong here need to be out. It's that simple. It's like you opening up your doors and your bank account to total strangers and saying, here, take everything I have. Take everything my forefathers worked for. Take everything that my country has, 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 has been, has provided to the world. Just take it. Just take it. You know why? Because you're Hispanic and you deserve it. Now, let's not, let, let's say, uh, that NPR thing just sickened me. That she would actually be so racist. But I've seen this firsthand. And, matter of fact, some... Hispanic people, Spanish people came here to my door and they wanted to help uh, 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 handicapped people and things like that. Uh, but when I opened the door and, and, and started talking to them and figured out that they were helping handicapped people and stuff, they ended the conversation with was, oh, we only help us Spanish people. Okay. Okay. Not handicapped, Spanish people, that's it. So that's their agenda. That's the whole ge agenda of La Raza. You guys keep that in mind and get behind your le legislators 
when they say we need immigration reform, we need to close the borders. Because even Steven Seagal was down here with uh, uh, hanging out with uh, Sheriff Joe. Steven Seagal helping secure our borders. It's a problem. It really is a problem. So uh, you don't have to worry about the Strontium 90 coming over here from uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the nuclear reactors that were built there were built very well. The nuclear reactors that are built in this country actually have much better safeguards and backups than they do in Japan. And of course, those were built by one company, General Electric. Does that ring any bells, folks? General Electric happens to be on the advisory board of President Obama. Yes, you you got it. You got you got you guys are so smart. I love you. And General Electric also, by buddying up and lobbying. Uh, the, the lobbies that uh, Obama said he was so much against by lobbying, got the contract for the uh, Obamacare, which, that's another story. Over 120 uh, uh, entities have opted out of the Obamacare, legally. Okay? I think two states uh, uh, have, 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 have opted out completely. So you know what that means? That means the price for Obamacare is going to go up and up and up for you, for even the unions. They've opted out of it. You know why? Because they get sweet packages. Anyways, so these university-educated socialists, have the gall to turn around and scare the hell out of you on the news. I don't care what news you're watching. I don't care if you're watching Fox. I don't care if you're watching CNN or anything else. Let me tell you something else about General Electric that you don't know. Not only do they sit on the on the Obama's advisory board, they also own NBC MSNBC and a few other uh, uh, news outlets. So the only way you're going to get any real news is by watching C-SPAN. Okay. That's all I have to say right now, folks. I, I'm pretty sure. And don't worry about the uh, atmosphere. It's fine. Uh, you, you know something? Carbon dioxide is actually good for the atmosphere. It's carbon monoxide. That is bad. Hello. Does anybody get that? Monoxide? Dioxide? No. All you know about is peroxide. All right. Never mind. Anyways, carbon monoxide, bad. Carbon dioxide, good. But they're telling you that there's too much carbon dioxide in the air. You know something? I could rant like this forever. You know it. But happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you enjoyed my ditty, and I still love you.